Here's how to remove and replace the key on a TLR7 sub. I'm demoing it on the Glock version of the light. But the procedure is the same for all versions. First step is going to be to tighten this screw down all the way. Don't crank it at the end, just get it snug because we need to extend the tip of the cross bolt out enough to expose this little C-clip. Streamlight supplies a handy remove insert tool. You're going to use the remove side face down to press on that clip and pop it off the post. Keeping a finger over it so that when it comes loose, it doesn't go flying because it's a small little dude, easy to lose. So once that's off, then you can back this cross bolt all the way out. It has a little crest to crest wave spring on it, which you want to make sure you don't lose. So take that, set it right there so that the spring stays with it. Then the opposite side rail clamp slides right out and you can turn the light over and just shake out the key. The new key goes in. There's only one possible orientation, so drop it right in. Then put your opposite side rail clamp back into its slot. And then you'll put the cross bolt through, making sure you've got the crest to crest wave spring in place. And then you'll go all the way till it's fully tightened so that you expose the tip again and can reseat that little retaining clip. This is the testiest part. So lay this little retaining clip down, orient it toward the post like that, and I'm going to use the insert side to press it on there till it snaps. Then I can loosen the cross bolt up and attach it to my firearm.